this morning it's very humid as well even the camera's steaming up good morning i'm driving <laughs> so luke's driving today we're on our way back to kualoa ranch for our one hour atv tour yeah and the weather is slightly different today isn't it it's um yeah look at this <laughs> it's a little bit rainy <laughs> we had such good luck yesterday with the weather that yeah it's raining today no, so, it's only forecast to rain until like around um, lunchtime. Yeah, and then the sun will be back out. So, what all the research that we've done, and from what everyone's told us, is if it's raining where you are in Hawaii or on Oahu, it, the chances are it's sunny somewhere else on the island. So, you've only got to drive to somewhere else on the island, typically speaking, to find sun. So, and we will drive today. To and find we will sun. drive to find sun. But so. look how cool the mountains are with all the rain on it. It's like. Can't really see them today. It was yesterday. Yesterday was like clear. You could see them all, and yeah. kind of gives a different view and perspective on it. Yeah, it'd be even interesting to see what Kualoa is like. Yeah. Today. So the drive is about 35 minutes, and it's Monday morning. So we're expecting a little bit of rush hour traffic because it's like just gone half past seven this morning. Yeah, it's a bit stop more stop and start today than yesterday because of um, probably because it's Monday. Yesterday was Sunday. The roads were quiet. Yeah. But we've got to be there by half eight and it's 7.45, so we've like got loads of time. We've got loads of time. We always like leaving with plenty of time to avoid that sort of stress and hassle and just getting there early so we can take some pictures. And we're wearing older clothes today that we don't yeah. mind getting dusty because apparently you do get really dusty um, on the ATVs and obviously it's raining. So if it is raining, we might get muddy. Yeah. So we've packed swimming stuff. We've also packed flip-flops. We've also packed a change of clothes. Yeah. We were just saying before we turned the camera on, we're like, we didn't bring our rain max, so if it is tipping a damn of rain when we get there, I think we're just going to show our British side and just embrace the rain and just I think get wet. Quite cool because it's really humid. I mean, you saw just this morning when we walked out. That's the first time the camera steamed up like it does in Florida. Yeah. So the humidity is really high today. Yeah. So um, we're on our way, and uh, we'll update you on the way. So Luke spotted the car in front has an. Arizona license plate? Yeah, so normally in America we, we love to see all the different license plates from all over the country but obviously Hawaii being so cut off we've literally only seen Hawaii plates but this is the first one that they've obviously shipped the car over. <laughs> Lou's pretty excited about that. So excited. Yeah, there's blue sky somewhere. We haven't had rain since <laughs> we left Kailua. Kailua. That's not right, is it? Kailua. Kailua. <laughs> Kailua. 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 right now because we're videoing out the car window and we see this beautiful scenery and then there's like random portaloos <laughs> <Yeah, portal -pally. laughs> porta potties um, <laughs> just on the side of the road so like let's cut that bit out cut that bit out <laughs> so we're just i would probably just insert this because it's a little bit funny for us <laughs> Back at Kualoa Ranch. Uh, it looks even greater with the like clouds on top and everything. And the bus loads are there today. Wow. Wow, it, it looks busier than yesterday. Yeah, maybe because it's Monday, maybe. Yeah. So, yeah, wow. here we just are can't again. get over this place. <laughs> Our lovely car. It's the only thing about it being so big is it's quite hard to park. Uh, both of us have struggled, haven't we? Like, it fits in the space, but it's like, if there's cars next to it, it's really hard. It's a lovely car though. We were saying, we'd love to have this at home, but no way would it fit in the space there. Because that's, the that's the Equinox that we've had quite a few times. Yeah. And the size difference. Right, it is a very, very warm. Yeah. It is lovely. And yes. there's no rain currently. 
So we're going to try and film the ATV. We're not sure how that's going to happen because neither of us have driven an ATV before. Neither of us has driven an ATV, um, let alone try and film on one. <laughs> so we don't know whether they... Someone mentioned that there's hats, helmets, that have got the GoPro thing already. So we're going to ask about that. Yeah, so we might be able to do that. If not, we have got a wrist strap that only faces outwards. So whatever footage you see, we've absolutely done our best. <laughs> yeah, we got we got the wrist strap that go you can turn around, and I left it at home. I bought the wrong one. So look at this. In for our tour, we've got our little vouchers here. Mm -hmm. You have to wear shoes. You can't wear flip flops here, so you have to have covered shoes, which is fine. We tried to switch to the multi-person ATV because they didn't do that when we booked. No, there was a little poster up as we were in the queue saying, why not upgrade to our multi-person vehicle? And we were both like, that wasn't on the website. Yeah, because we would rather have been on the same vehicle. And they could do it at one o'clock, but we really don't want to hang around here for like five hours. <laughs> no, so, it's a great place, but there's like... We saw it yesterday. Yeah, we saw it yesterday, so... So yeah, we're going to wait. We've got, it's now 22, so we've got 20 minutes. We have to go to the mandatory safety briefing and then we'll be able to get on. And here's the check-in area for the, uh, well, the safety briefing's gonna happen over here, isn't it? Yeah. The ATV shack. tour in the little shack. We're gonna see if they have any helmets with the camera's uh, attachment on it. Yeah, but we're just hanging out here. We're just taking in the views. It's a little bit more shaded today, so it's a little bit more bearable being out in this exposed area. We're gonna switch over to GoPro now, ready for the tour. Get his helmet on. <laughs> it's not a good look. There they are. We're going to use it as called a Raptor, and we will uh, chauffeur you guys the rest of the tour, okay? <laughs> so control your ATVs, guys. Uh, we have the video of multiple languages. Uh, ATV tour. We would like your attention in the following safety video. Japanese. We would like you to remember that this is the scenic tour of our match, not extreme rap. Top speed will be 12 miles per hour. Tailing. Slide to open gaps in the line. If you're taking while riding. One handed riding. Zigzagging. Passing or side by side riding. Now we will cover the operation of the ATV. The ATVs have automatic transmissions, so no shifting is necessary. Excited? Oh yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of ATVs there. You're enjoying it. How was that? <laughs> it's amazing, look where we are. Wow. I think it's just about to start raining, so I think this camera's gonna go back in now.
Wow, look at this. It's stunning. <laughs> it's just kind of like light spitting, but it's like so different to yesterday. It's yeah. Kind of, it's kind of cool to see both. Both uh, sides of the weather. Yeah. <laughs> I can see the clouds coming in over the mountains there. Okay. At the mountain, we just have the GoPro. Yeah. This is just amazing. It's just started raining a little bit now. So this may be get a little bit wet as we go up next bit. Yeah. But it's just wow. I don't think this can do it justice. Wow. I love it. And the ATVs are a lot of fun, aren't they? No, oh, they're so much fun. <laughs> it's such a new experience for us. Like we've never done it before. I think the good thing is because you can't um you can't stop, you can't use pictures or anything. Yeah. So, so like, you have to look at your scenery. You have it's to brilliant. take it in and look at it. It forces you to be distracted from your phone or yeah, anything else. It's amazing. You can barely see if you make them out. Um, coming from that little hill over there, right in front of us here is the last one. They used to be almost two meters deep, um, but we have lots of cows on the ranch and they're not the smartest creatures. <laughs> so we had some into these holes get stuck. <laughs> so now they're just very- Heading back to get the helmets on. Here he goes. A bit more rainy this time. We done it. Yes. Hair might be a that mess from bad. the helmets, but yeah. we got to experience so many different weathers. We had like yeah. sun out, it's obviously beautiful sunshine, but it was chucking it down. Yeah. It was so fun, all fun. different random climates here. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I would say the ATV tour will give you a, like an overview of the of the actual park, but so glad we did the movie tour. Because it's a bit more comprehensive, isn't it? It's yeah. a bit more detailed, you get to stop off more. So the ATV was good because it's a new experience from us. It was so much fun riding it yeah. and like just driving through and going up the hill. Yeah. But if you're nervous about, like we were, because we were nervous about using one for the first time, um, they do a little practice run. There's a practice circuit that you do before you head off just to make sure everyone's comfortable with the settings and how to ride and yeah. So. And it was really good. I mean, they, it was they really were good, checking yeah. on you all the time. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we had a really enjoyable experience. I love it, I can't believe we've done it. Yeah. <laughs> we took a couple of pictures which we will have inserted like with the, the, the tiger, uh, dra um, GoPro. Dinosaur. Oh yeah, yeah. But I would say that is a good experience. Yes. I think it was about $90 each for an hour. The hour went so quick. It went really quick, like, yeah. It feels like we've been on 15 minutes and it's now quarter past 10. But there was so much to like take in. We were saying to one of the leaders that it's nice to just to see everything like from our own eyes. Yeah, like we obviously when you've got your phone like you, you pick it up and you start taking pictures of your camera because it's just such an amazing scenery but this just forces you to as you're going through the journey just take it all in. Yeah, I didn't want to leave. No. <laughs> so we're gonna go and uh, I think we did the shop yesterday, so yes. we're going to head on the road and go to the next place. Going to get a drink, and Rich has just spotted there's a guava only one. Because I have the strawberry guava back at the... Uh, I think you're going to have to get that. Dole, they've got Dole orange, loads of stuff. We got some drinks, i got some Dole apple juice. i got some guava, guava nectar actually it says. Yeah, we're going to get in the car now, and we're going to head to our next place. Yes. It's stunning. Like all up there in the valley, it's raining. Yeah. So we actually went into it. Like wet from the way. So. And if we zoom right into that, you can actually see on the hillside, you can see the clouds moving. I hope that's coming out because I can see it. Right, let's go have a drink. Rich is loving this Aloha, Aloha so brand. Nice. I know this Aloha brand is so nice. Aloha made. It's like Minute Made, but Aloha made. How's that? Good. Yeah, that's guava. And we're going to drive towards the blue sky. Lower. We'll definitely be back. Exceptional place, won't we? We will. Just gonna look at that. It's just stunning. What it's is that over there? Is that a, like a tooth or a bone or? Yeah, maybe a prop. It's probably a prop from a movie. Look at that. It's just it's absolutely amazing. So we're back in the car and we're on our way to. I'm driving. Rich is driving because <laughs> we're navigating. So whenever I'm, we, whenever we're going, I'll drive sometimes. Um, but Rich prefers me to just navigate and do the filming and chuck all the cameras and phones and stuff. <laughs> and I'll just sit here and drive. Yeah. 
So we're heading to a Japanese temple called Biodo in Temple. So it's a temple, we love temples when we went to Japan, but there's one here in Oahu that we know of. And we're gonna head there and it's only about a 20 minute drive. Well, it's 17 minutes we've only just left, so about 18 minutes from Kualoa. So I looked online and it says it's $5 per person to get in and it's cash only. So we've got some cash ready. But yeah, let's go and check this place out. Yeah. And hopefully we have some nice weather. We don't get to see the car in front, but there's a dog like hanging out the window. <laughs> Loving life. Loving it. It's like heads right out, arms are out. I don't know if you can see it. I don't know if it'll come out on camera. I don't want to zoom in because we're like moving, but it is like really, we need to go around the corner the other way. You'll be able to see it. Here we go. We'll be able to see now already. <laughs> Look at this dog. He's got his arms out. That's so cute. <laughs> Hope it's coming out. Look at this scenery. It's so nice. Heading somewhere over there. Hopefully it's a view. And we're actually going that way. We're heading up into the into that direction. So no idea where we're going. Here we go. We're going to Valley of the Temples. I'm not sure. Beautiful, beautiful place. So I think we're just queuing to pay to get in at the moment. I think there's a little stand there, so we'll just see how much this costs. So we're just being stopped at this little gate here. It opens at 8.30 a.m. today and closes at 4.45. So we're hoping that we can um, I think we just have to pay here. Let's just see what we have to pay. It's like people are handing over cash. Okay. But just the views around here, just the Odin temple straight ahead. Hit anything there. He just asked where we're going and just said straight ahead at the end. So uh, nothing to pay at all. Very bumpy here. Very bumpy. But look at this view. Look at this. As we come up, all the American flags. Such a beautiful, beautiful place. Wow, that is just stunning. I get some great views looking out down the hill. So, keep following it around, I guess. So, it's very busy, it looks like. We're going to just follow it down. There it is, wow. It's like a very busy day and we're being parked right here at the back. So I'm guessing they'll actually back right up eventually. But thankfully there's someone guiding us to a space which is really good. So let's hope we can park here. Yeah we can. I've got a person to get in. And we parked up, there's a little hut here where you just hand over the cash. It's cash only, five dollars each. And here's Luke and there's the temple. And have a go on ringing this bell. Let's have a look. The sacred bell. The Bonsho or sacred bell was cast in Osaka, Japan. Oh, we've been there. Yeah, we have. Visitor are invited to ring the impressive bell using the soft wooden log. Would you like to do that? Let's do it. Let's do it. Excited about this, aren't you? You're going to do it as well. No. Yeah. <laughs> Here he goes. Yay. We've also got the meditation pavilion. Just a few fish here. 
We're going into the temple. You may not be able to film in here and probably have to take shoes off. Yes. So. Customary, isn't it? Yeah. That's that Japanese feel to it, which is lovely. Yeah, take our shoes off. And pop them somewhere, somewhere over here. I miss wearing socks so much. Oh, it's very Japanese in here, isn't it? So we had a really nice little look around. It's such a beautiful building. Really nice. The temple in front of the mountains behind. So we got to ring the bell, we have got to burn some incense, and there's a cute little gift shop at the end, isn't there? Yeah, it's definitely somewhere you could spend maybe like 20 minutes, but there's not a lot to it. You can light an incense. Inside there is only one tiny bit. Yeah. It's a non-denominational Buddhist temple. Mm -hmm. So. And like cost-wise, like $5 each, it's not that expensive. And no. it's a beautiful place, so well worth the money. Yeah, so we're now going to head on, hopefly, to Cinnamon's in Kailua for some lunch. <laughs> yeah. It's really worth a visit, we really enjoyed that. Just to confirm the pricing again, $5 for adults and teens, and that's adults and over 13. Seniors are $4, that's 65 and up with ID. And children 2 to 12 are $2. We took a picture for you. 